Would you like to create a quiz on your WordPress site? Let me show you how. Hey, Jet Farmers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we wanna do is we need to create that quiz. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner. I'm gonna choose to create a form. I'm gonna go ahead and use a template for this. And let me go ahead and search for quiz. I think I'm gonna choose the mini math quiz. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose use template. And let's take a quick scroll. Perfect, nice and sweet. Now, one of the really great things about utilizing WordPress is you don't have to go up to publish to embed code or any type of integrations. It does it all for you. So this is my mini math quiz. So let's head over to WordPress. And before we get started, we need to ensure that we have the JotForm plugin installed in our WordPress. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna head on down to plugins and then add new. I'm gonna come right up here, I'm gonna search for JotForm. And the one that we want is JotForm Online Forms, the drag and drop form builder, the top right one right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one, install and activate. Perfect, so top left-hand corner, we're gonna head back to our plugins. Now that that's installed, we can embed any form in either a post or in a page, you get to choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a page for this example. So I'm gonna come over to pages, I'm gonna choose to add new. If you want, you can utilize one of these templates, but I'm going to start with a blank page. And we can either utilize the plus sign at the top or right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And if classic isn't right up here at the top, all we need to do is just search for classic. And once it loads, we can see JotForm's icon right down here on the right-hand side. So if we click on this, after you have authenticated, you'll be able to see all of your forms. So that's where that no coding comes in within WordPress. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this mini math quiz and continue. And from this view, it's just going to be that embed code. We're not be able to preview it until we go up to preview. So I'm gonna come up here to view, we'll do desktop, let's preview in a new tab. And there we go. And one thing that's great about WordPress also is it intuitively knows how much space to take up. So there's no dragging or dropping or having to figure out how many pixels tall it is. It does everything for you. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about embedding a quiz in your WordPress, let us know and I'll see you next time.